No James Rodriguez or Jean Moutinho for Claudio Ranieri's Monaco as they welcomed Montpellier to start at Louis II. Well, Ligue 1's big spenders got off to a winning start in Bordeaux. And that man, Radamel Falcao, with his first Ligue 1 goal, helps them on their way. Montpellier, meanwhile, held up champions Paris Saint-Germain to a one-all draw. Well, it was in the 18th minute that Monaco made the breakthrough. It was that man, Lucas Ocampos, who was behind it. The promising Argentine getting away from Siakateni down the right. He was eventually brought down in the area. And the referee pointed to the spot. Monaco with a chance then, and it was the Tiger who stepped up to put them 1-0 up with a cool finish. No mistake from the Colombian international. Monaco already ahead with 20 minutes on the clock. Montpellier looked to hit back though in only the 24th minute. They found an equaliser through Victor Hugo Montano. It was a fantastic header from the Frenchman to make it one all. The former Ren man getting ahead of Ricardo Carvalho here. It was a superb header which gave Daniel Subasic no chance in the Monaco net. But on the stroke of half time, Monaco got their noses back in front. Emmanuel Riviere with a cheeky lob here to make it 2 1. Well, speaking of cheeky, there was a cheeky little foul from Riviere at the start of the action, tugging on Daniel Congre's shorts and shirt here. The referee didn't see it, certainly didn't call it, which meant that Monaco were able to take the lead at the ideal time. Well, the Montpellier players letting their feelings be known to the referee at half-time. It didn't change anything, 2-1 going into the second half. Well, 2-1, it then became 3-1, and it was that man, Riviere, again, after scoring last week against Bordeaux. Two more today, he's already up to three goals this league on season. The most he's managed in a season before this is eight. An impressive corner from Yannick Ferreira Carrasco. And things only got worse for Montpellier. Daniel Congre shown a straight red card for bringing down Ferreira Carrasco a few minutes later in the 63rd minute. It was a wonderful run from the young Belgian. Congre deemed to be the last man. Well, Ferreira Carrasco was also at the origin of Monaco's fourth goal. Cutting inside, having a go, and it fell for Emmanuel Riviere to complete his hat-trick. Well, he looked a little bit unsure about it, but it was onside, as we'll see on this replay. Ferreira Carrasco cutting inside. The ball taking a deflection off Teddy Mazage of Montpellier. And all Riviere had to do was head in to claim a first hat-trick for a Monaco player since 2005. What a message they're sending to their rivals. 4-1 the final score.